This is dating in the dark. And if you still believe in love at first sight, just wait until you try it with the lights out. This week I've invited four girls and four guys to date in a pitch black room. Oh, yeah. But in a brand new twist, one guy and one girl will get dumped before their very first date. Yeah, she's stunning. Just him. When the lights turn on, will they be turned off? I was expecting Miss Universe, and I got Miss Salford. She's gorgeous. What's wrong with you? Or will it be love at first sight? He needs to have the whole package, because I'm not going to settle for less. This is Dating in the Dark, the show where you get to see more than our daters. So let's go inside and meet the eight who are about to date. My name's Ollie, I'm 27, I'm from Canary Wharf, and I'm a property consultant. I'm funny, well-dressed, I'm confident in the way I look. I wanted to come on dating in the dark because I really wanted to get round judging everyone on looks, because I want to settle down now. Find Mrs. Wright, kids are married somewhere down the line as well. I'm Dan, I'm 25, I'm from North West London, and I'm a police officer. I'm pretty unlucky in love. I tend to go on lots of dates, but nothing ever tends to happen. Being in the dark room is going to definitely be an advantage. Girls are going to see my personality and maybe not focus so much on my height, which tends to be an issue. I'm Chris, I'm 27. I'm from Swindon in Wiltshire, and I'm a sales manager. I like girls with northern accents who are slightly bitsy. I'm looking for basically a northern wag. I'm a very competitive person, and if another guy likes the same girl as me, I have to come out number one. Living separately upstairs are our four lovely ladies. My name is Jessica, I'm from Birmingham. I'm 26 and I run my own fashion and model company. I rate myself an 8 out of 10. I do take care of myself and I think it shows. I hope to find someone who likes me for my personality first, for the very first time. I'm Siobhan, I'm 24, I'm from Hertfordshire and I write and illustrate children's books. The guys I normally attract seem to be short, old, they don't really look good next to me. So I'm hoping dating in the dark will be the chance to find my dream man. I'm Natalie, I'm 23 and a state agent from Cheshire. I've always dated guys that I find really good looking and then I go out with them and their personality is a complete turn off. I've never fancied someone on personality alone and I'm really hoping dating in the dark can change this for me. My name's Charlotte, I'm 23 years old, I'm from Cheshire and I'm a model. I don't go out looking for men, they come to me. It would be nice to meet someone that is judging me purely on my personality and not for the way that I look. That would be just perfect. So with everyone settled into their new home for the next four days, it's time for me to go meet them. Hi ladies. Hi. Welcome to the Dating in the Dark house. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Really excited. A bit nervous as well. Yeah. Going really? in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. You're about to go into the dark room for the very first time on your group dates. Are we all excited? Can't wait. Time, yeah. Hoping to meet some uh, hotties? Hoping for <laughs> them to sound hot at least. I've got to tell you that first impressions are crucial. Mm. So you've got to go all out to impress those guys. Yeah. Think you can do that? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll explain more afterwards. But in the meantime, go and enjoy your date. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Right. Go on then. Let's Get go. in there. Let's go. Good Good luck. Luck. What they don't know is that one guy and one girl We'll be heading home a little sooner than they thought. Our boys and girls will only ever meet and date in the dark room. This is dark. But that's the whole point, isn't it? Okay, we've got a sofa. We've got a sofa. Okay. Well, this might be a sofa. <laughs> Wait a Sofa's here. Sofa. Yeah, okay, now this is the wall. Okay. I was really surprised how dark it was. It was just unbelievable. Bring on the girls. Right, now we've got a... 
Hello. Hi. This is nice. Are you okay? Oh, okay. It's so dark. It's it's so nice. Walking into the dark room is really weird. It was dead quiet, and then all of a sudden they went. <laughs> And we all screamed like jumped out of our skins. That was quite funny. Right, I'll start. My name's Ollie. I live in Canary Wharf and I work in property. Yeah. Sorry. My name's Natalie. I'm from Cheshire and I'm an estate agent. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you are then, Ollie? Um, I'm in development and lettings. The one that immediately stands out for me is Ollie. I've dated a few estate agents before and it's just something instantly that you can talk about. I think the girl that I'd choose for my first date would be Natalie. She just seemed nice, chatty, nice accent. Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm from Cheshire and I'm a model. I love northern accents. Ooh, someone likes me. She's everything I look for in a woman. She's northern, she's a bit dippy and she's a model. I like tall man. Someone that's really into fitness and the, the body. You can't get any taller than me. I'm six foot four. I'm George. I'm from London and I'm a writer. What do you write? Like crime novels, that kind of stuff. Oh. What, what kind of crime? Like, um... Ones that you've done yourself? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I got you in the dark room. Oh, really? Oh, oh my God, yeah. I'm going for that one with a weird accent. No, I don't. Yeah, you. <laughs> George was hilarious. And I've got this image that he looks like Daffy from End Dubs. It's all right, girls, I'll keep you safe. I'm Dan, I'm a police officer. Yeah. Yeah. If George tries anything, that's it. I speak six enough. languages, so, like, wow. I, yeah. What so. other languages? Uh, I speak French, Russian. I can speak Russian. I can say Yalu Beauty Bia. Ah, Yalu Beauty Bia Tura. No, excuse me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Dan was um, really interesting to me since you can speak Russian and I spoke Russian as well, so that was impressive. My name is Jessica and I'm a fashion model and I also run a model and creative agency. Well, as far as Jessica goes, I think she's the one that I'm actually matched to just because of the languages thing. But she said she's a fashion model, so that's not really the kind of look that I'd go for. You could be sat across from someone that's gorgeous and you don't realise. And if you could see them, you'd try to turn it on and, and give them the eyes. And you can't do that, so it's really odd. Bye, boys. Bye. See you later. Bye. See you soon. <laughs> I think Natalie and Jessica are probably fat. They, they had that fat voice. I just got fat flashing in my head. Fat girls, fat girls. So, boys, first group date, how was it? Fantastic. Yeah, yeah I loved it. Brilliant. What was your first impressions? Oh, it, was it was dark. dark. <laughs> <laughs> it was really dark. Yeah. 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 Well, here comes the twist. <laughs> Not all the girls are staying. Not all the boys are staying. Oh, OK. You've got to decide which one of them goes. Oh! oh we... You guys have got one minute to decide who goes. I feel awful. I can't <sighs> do that. Pros and cons of each girl. Yeah, pros and cons. Who, who do you like, who do you not like? George <sighs> deserves to stay because he's hilarious. Yeah. Are you sure about him? Jessica was a little bit quiet, but maybe that's because she was shy, you know, it's quite a new experience. I would want to date Dan Belise. I, I wouldn't go out with George. So, you know. He tried really hard and now he's making all of us laugh. So we all agreed? All agreed, yeah, all agreed. Cool. Now it's time to see if you've made the right choice. Please make your way to the drawing room. The boys are first to watch their dump day to leave and see what they've missed out on. Being ousted straight away is a bit harsh. We were hoping that she wasn't going to be an absolute stunner because then we'd have been kicking ourselves. There's a smoker. Where is she stunning? Got him. The group date was more difficult than I thought. It's always hard to talk when there are so many people trying to talk as well. I was very quiet, so that was probably it. Ah, the boys are gutted. Here's hoping the girls are happy with their choice. Here we go. I'm, I'm really sorry. nervous. I, am. I bet he's going to be hot. We were very nervous about who to choose, and we changed our minds so many times. We could be sending someone home potentially that's our match, and that we could get on with really well. With Jessica and George gone, it's now time for the serious dating to begin. A few flirty emails between our boys and girls, and everyone's ready for a first date. Wish me luck. Enjoy yourself. Cheers. Have a good one, buddy. Cheers, bro. First to heading to the dark room are Dan and Siobhan, who both invited each other. I'm really happy that Siobhan and I chose each other for our first date. 
slightly nervous because obviously it's going to be more personal, it's going to be more intimate, but I'm looking forward to it. I love going out to Funky House music, so yeah, I'm surprised too. you get time to do that. I only work part time, so I can kind of. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you a community police? No, man? no, no. I'm you a special, sure? I'm not a community well, Are you a secret agent? Well, I couldn't possibly say. I'd have to kill you. When Dan said he worked for the police, I was expecting someone quite tall, but he was quite small, which is a bit of a turn off. So, we've done, nice. we've done the hard bit, haven't we? <laughs> Considering that date was like a try before you buy, overall I was very happy on um, buying whatever Siobhan's selling. Let's hope you can afford it. The next guy to brave the dark from is Chris. I picked Charlotte because she's northern, she's a bit dappy, but not only that, she's a model. What more can a guy ask for? So what sort of modelling do you do? I do like uh, bridal modelling, lingerie, bikini modelling. Oh, right. Cute pageants, yeah. I think it is every man's dream to be on a date with a bikini model, and I feel like I won the lottery. Oh, you are. I'm vital. Well, and I've got heels on as well. <laughs> I won't grow up your face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was very pleased when my hands went higher and higher, big shoulders, big arms, which I like. I would really like to see Charlotte again, and hopefully I will get that chance in the near future. But Chris hasn't got Charlotte all to himself just yet. Stan's also asked her on a date. I'm assuming from the, the job, policeman, that Dan is tall and fit, because they normally are. Do you uh, like martial arts? I love martial arts. Do you do karate? Uh, I used to do karate, and then I did... Uh, what belt kick. did you get to? Well, I just got to purple belt. Right. What are you? Second Dan black belt. No, you're, yeah. you're second Dan. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. I was quite smitten with Siobhan. But the fact that Charlotte and I got on so well together has really put a spanner in the works. <laughs> oh, you've got short hair. Yeah. He was a lot smaller than I'd like. I think he might be good looking, but quite short. <laughs> and the other one? I felt comfortable with Dan, but I like tall men. And he wasn't tall. Sorry. Have a good time. Last up, our Ollie and Natalie, who both invited each other. When he said his profession, it was kind of like light bulb ding ding. Sounds like he might be the one for me. We've got a bad rap on me. Well, as estate agent, I'm not like the typical estate agent, I don't think. No. I'm and you that. would talk about work, you know? Yeah, yeah, obviously. We're on the same page with work, I think. I think so. Have you stopped being so similar? I know. Made you a version of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad that we chose each other, because straight away, uh, there's, there's something there. I've also got a little dog. <gasps> He's a big what part of my life. What make? What brand? Breed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a Maltese. He's just a little. You've just ball. like literally that dog I will get. <laughs> he's, he's such a character. It just went amazing, and they'll yeah definitely be a second date. It's so nice to meet you. Me too, babe. I'll and, probably um, hopefully see you again. I think Ollie could definitely be potential boyfriend material, and if his looks stack up to his personality, we could be on for a winner. Mmm. After a full day of dating and a very promising start, it's time for me to catch up with the daters. So, you finished the first day of dating, boys. Who stands out for you at the moment? Gotta be Charlotte. No question. Okay. Charlotte as well. And Siobhan. <laughs> <laughs> um, Natalie. Natalie. So you two both like one of the same girls, is that going to be a problem? No, because I'm going to come out top. <laughs> uh, questions are, she's mine, so... Bit of competition, that's what I like to see, lads. Exactly. The best man wins. I love competition because I always win them, so it's fine. I'm looking forward to watching this. Don't talk this. too soon, son. Don't talk too soon. Right, no way. <laughs> so you've been on a few dates, girls. Who really stood out for you? Ollie for me. I feel like he was the male version of me. We really, really clicked. I do like Dan, who was my first date, but he's so small. Is height such a problem? Well, it's not, because I have been out with a lot of short guys, but I'm not going to rule him out just yet. Mine's Chris. Chris. Because he's tall, and I'm, like, really tall. Did that sway you at all? It, it's definitely swayed me a bit, but I am aware of the fact that, you know, he might not mm. be that much of a looker. He might just have the tall, athletic build. Well, let's see what the compatibility test says tomorrow, because you'll each have a match. Coming up next... Ollie uses his animal magnetism. No, hello. The competition between the girls heats up, <laughs> and our first couple step into the light. But will they like what they see? Changing your mind slightly, thinking maybe. I don't know. I'm really confused. So far on Dating in the Dark, Jessica and George have gone. Ollie and Natalie have found puppy love. 
and Chris and Dan are competing for Charlotte's attention. It's the second day of dating, which can only mean one thing. It's time to reveal who the data's perfect match is, according to science. I'm well excited to find out who I'm compatible with. I know, I'm a bit nervous. I hope it's Ollie. I think there's only one girl for me, boys. Yeah, go for it, Charlotte. Girl. I think Charlotte as well. I, so I, that's who I think I'm matched with. Banter. Like it. So is Charlotte better suited to Big Chris or Little Dan? Well, we're about to find out as the compatibility test pairs up our datas with the person they are most similar to in areas such as socialising, vanity and romance. Remember, a score of 50% or above means a couple has a lot in common. Natalie. Oh my God, yay. Ollie, oh. see? Oh. When Natalie's name came up and then my name came up, it was massive relief. It's a really good click that we had. I haven't had that in a long time. I wonder what percentage it is. Oh, oh, it's not bad. I did think that after my date that we were yeah, compatible. Good. We got on so well. Yeah. Charlotte. Let <laughs> the best man win. Best man win. Chris. He's done it. He's there. He's passed the winning post. No, he hasn't got to the finish line no, yet. He hasn't. I thought absolutely fantastic. I also thought in your face, Dan. I was definitely gutted because obviously I really liked her and we got on well in the dates. So yeah, I did feel a bit crestfallen. Oh my God. That's really high. That's soulmate material. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? I knew it would be high, but not that high. So it's quite like, it's quite taken back by that. Oh, oh my God. I'm a bit gutted, I think. I wanted to be matched with Chris because he was tall. It's a bit annoying that you've got a nice, tall, stocky guy in there and I'm not matched with him. And it's all the same lying down. Just remember that. <laughs> 82. Good. That's high. I'm really looking forward to having a fun date with Siobhan. I think we're going to get on well together again and just try and build on what we had on the last date. You have a laugh in there. find more, like, more, what? like, see if I can more. find him. Oh. In the room, it's not. With the matches revealed, our guys and girls must now date their compatible partners. So let's see if the science works. Now's the time. Unsurprisingly, the our first match couple into the darkroom are our two estate agents, Ollie and Natalie. My compatibility date with Natalie is going to involve an introduction to my little puppy, and I think she's just going to absolutely go for it. I think I've brought a very small, very fluffy person to meet you. You've not. <gasps> oh my god! I'm in love, hello! Little Banks. Oh my I god, I can't believe you brought him! I think it's really romantic how he brought the dog in. It was just the most perfect, cute little dog ever. It was amazing. What did you think about the compatibility? I, I kind of knew it was going to be me and you. Did you want it to be? Yeah, I really did. So did I. Yeah, we clicked massively. Didn't we? Like, obviously, with the work stuff, you'd expect us to have common interests, but it felt like it was much more than that for me. I agree. And At this moment in time, I think, yeah, me and Natalie are really well suited. Is that a cheeky girl on my bum, then? I was having a little... What was it? <laughs> yeah. good, it's a good bum. You've got to have a good bum. I love my bum. I think it's my best feature. Really? Yeah. Natalie did have a cheeky little go on my bum, um, but, yeah, you know, I would. It's really early to say, but a little part of me really does hope that everything keeps going the way it is and he could be a part of my future. We'll make the move on the next day. So, do you really like him? I really like him. We're just still bouncing off each other. Well, well done. I think you've got Banksy to thanks for that. Yeah, yeah we do. Oh, you little lady. <laughs> the next compatible couple to date are Chris and Charlotte. Having such a high score, 92%, there could be some long-term potential. I think it's got to be fate. I thought you were my match I... on the first sort of 10 seconds of even meeting you. I did. Because it's like the conversation was like f like flowing dead well, yeah. wasn't it? But I didn't think it would be that high. That's really, really, it's really, really high. high. Yeah. It felt like pressure to get on and talk about things because we're like the perfect match for each other. You want children or...? Um... If I find the one and then basically marriage comes up, then yeah, yeah. I'll take it. Or if kids come up, yeah, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll have them. I don't think there was as big of a spark as I wanted there to be. It seems like we got along really well, but there was just no sort of flirting going on at all. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I do think Charlotte is very afraid of committing herself at this stage. I think she does want to wait to the light reveal. Hello. Hi. How was it? Very good. Yeah. 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 
We get on really well. well did we you get on as well as you did the first time? It did feel a bit pressure. Just a little spark was probably not there for sort of romance. So it's put a little bit of doubt into my head. But we got on so, so well. Siobhan, who's not exactly over the moon with her compatible match, heads back into the darkroom to meet him. But luckily, Dan's got a trick up his sleeve. Planning to bring some nachos into the date. Food's quite a sort of sensual thing, so we can feed each other and hopefully see how it goes. Yeah, okay. right, I'm going to try and get this in your mouth, okay? Where's your... Okay, what was that? Okay, that what was, was that? my chin. That was your chin. Was okay, chin. let's move up, let's move up. Okay. Got it? Uh, hey, there we go. Mmm, really nice. Yeah, right, now my good. turn. Now it's your turn. Okay. Okay. Ah. Oh. Right. Something else on the menu there. Your yeah, finger. my finger. Your finger. Siobhan and I were both really flirtatious throughout the date, and it just made the atmosphere really nice and easy going. How about a kiss? I don't know. I might give you a little sneak. Yeah. <laughs> Dan was very cheeky when he asked to kiss me. I wasn't expecting it actually. Is that all right for you? That was all right for me. Kiss was really nice. But I was picking up on hints that Siobhan was giving throughout the date, so I thought, why not? Oh, oh. God. I'll see you later. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye. It was just a little kiss, you know. That was it. I still like him, but I think I might try one of the others now. There was a bit of a kiss at the end. Good lad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good lad. Yeah, you <gasps> Not snog. On the lips. Yeah. But I thought you don't like <laughs> yeah. him. Yeah. I do like him. You do? Oh, if any kiss on the lips, it's nothing. It's the final round of dating before the lights are turned on and the daters are presented with the barefaced truth. So, who will they choose to date in that dark room one last time? I've chosen Chris for my final date because I might as well keep my options open and just show him that maybe I'm better than Charlotte. I think Siobhan's got quite a few tricks up her sleeve for the next date. If she's dancing on him, flirting, or tries to kiss him, and he goes for that, and that, I think that says a lot about the type of person that he is. Have a feel. Ooh, feathers. Yeah. I didn't know whether you wanted to see a bit of dancing with me. Why not? Yeah, go for it. I thought, oh my God, I got two left feet. I mean, when we were dancing together, we were really close, and he was shaking his hips quite a lot, and he was really up for it. Ooh. And then a little bum tickle. <laughs> I think Siobhan has got some good traits in her, but I think she's a bit of a man-eater. If Chris had Dan's personality, then it would be perfect, but I think Chris was holding back a little bit because I think he has Charlotte in mind. I'll get my feather wire back. I don't want you getting too excited. No worries, you can have that back. Thank you. No, it's been a pleasure. I don't yeah. have any real interest in seeing what Siobhan looks like whatsoever, and to be perfectly honest, I don't care. What happened? Yeah, no, it was good. Like, he went really well with the dancing. And was he just going with it? Just yeah, he was really, like, up for it. So I hope the feather bow had done it for him. But Siobhan's going to have to wait to find out, as Chris and Charlotte have chosen each other for their third and final date. I went on the date with Siobhan, but all I do think about is going on another date with Charlotte. I've been on other dates and it's just, I just didn't want to be there. Yeah. The only one I've actually enjoyed and actually speaking to. Yeah. What um, about your dancing? Because um, we all know about the dance. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I'd rather not. This date was much more relaxed, and I'd really like to think that he has preferred our dates over Siobhan's. My date was so much better than my previous date with Siobhan. That, I just wanted to leave. But with Charlotte, I wanted to stay. Don't be offended that I, I don't kiss. That's fine. Because I just don't agree with that. I would never kiss someone if I can't fully see them, because they might be a right minger. <laughs> I was gutted. She wouldn't kiss in the dark, but she is everything what I'm looking for. Undeterred by Siobhan's earlier date with Chris, Dan's asked her back into the dark room for a final rendezvous. It was a real blow when Siobhan chose Chris, but we've had a kiss already, so I just want to find out if there is proper potential. The only thing that Dan could do to impress me in this final date is either wear a pair of high heels or grow. <laughs> you have got a so quite soft accent, which I like. All right, love. All right, love, what was that? That's Farmer, sorry. The West Country. Oh, Chris must have Chris. rubbed off on yeah. me a little bit. Oh, he really rubbed off on you, did he? Well, we did a little uh, bit when he was dancing. <laughs> what, the grinding, you mean? I think Dan was a bit jealous when we discussed me doing a burlesque dance with Chris. 
There wasn't much grinding. Oh, and you didn't do that for me, did you? I know. Well, you just came at the wrong time. Yeah. So you missed out. And I now... never usually come at the wrong time. <laughs> That's so naughty. I definitely feel a bit of sexual chemistry. We're flirting quite a lot and we've got on really well. Mwah. I definitely prefer Dan because he's cheeky and he's up front, but I would like to see what he looks like. So the light reveal will tell it all, really. Sure will. As the second and final day of dating comes to an end, Ollie and Natalie choose to meet each other once again. Oh, bless. All the way through, I've just been Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. But in the back of my mind, I'm just thinking, is he going to be hot? Is he going to be hot? This is like the last time. Are you sad? I'm a little bit, because I still feel like I've got so much I want to say to you. You've not even asked all our questions. I was like, I've thought of a few and, and just run away. I'm really comfy. There was loads of physical contact. We were snuggling like it was a Sunday afternoon on the sofa. Did you kiss on a third date, or...? It's not... And I don't know. I was a bit hesitant, obviously, because I'm not sure what he looks like. I've never seen him. And then just thought, I want to kiss you. That's enough. <laughs> That was a nice little kiss. What do you think? I liked it. It was awesome. Big smile on my face, as you can tell. See you, babe. See you later. Everything's gone so well so far. I'll be so disappointed if we're not attracted to each other. Please don't be ugly. After feeling their way through several dates in the dark, our guys and girls now get the chance to see who they've been dating. I wonder how they're feeling. The light reveal means a lot to me. I'm really nervous about it because all the boxes are ticked now and it's just the last one. It's a massively important moment. I just want it to go as I've seen it in my head, really. I'm feeling a complete mixture of emotions. I'm nervous, I'm excited, but I'm also very intrigued. Can the daters look beyond looks? It's time to turn on the lights. First up, Dan and Siobhan want to see each other in the light. I chose Dan for my light reveal because we really got on in our dates and I thought he deserved to be seen in the light. So Siobhan and I have kissed twice already and potentially there could be something else there. So the light reveal is going to be the deal breaker. So Siobhan, you dated Chris, you kissed Dan. What's going on? I'm confused. Well, I was confused, but I ended up choosing Dan in the end. We do get on really well and that was the main thing at the end of the day is that we had a laugh together. The daters can't speak during the light reveal or see each other's reactions. Standing there waiting for that light to come on was nerve-wracking. My heart was pounding. Right now, I am feeling a little bit apprehensive because after all Siobhan and I have been through, if I don't fancy her on the light reveal, I'm definitely going to feel really gutted. Siobhan's personality definitely matches up to her looks and the fact that she's very pretty, got a lovely body, just makes it even better. So do you think he might just be your type? He was a lot bigger than I expected. Right, bigger in... Like, well, he didn't look that small and he was a lot more stockier than what I had felt. So It's really weird. Changing your mind slightly, thinking maybe... Uh... I don't know, I really, I'm really confused, but... You know, I'm not saying no. Never say never. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Coming up next, four more daters face the lights. Will tall Chris reach Charlotte's high expectations? And will our loved up estate agents want a second viewing? Is this a big moment for you? I just want everything to match now, like every box to be ticked. <laughs> Ollie and Natalie are completely smitten in the dark and Charlotte's beaten the competition to win Chris over. I've been on other dates and I just didn't want to be there. But will 10 seconds of light kill all the chemistry? Let's find out. After falling for each other in the dark, 
Chris and Charlotte are about to see each other for the very first time. We've had a few fantastic dates, and now seeing what each other looks like will be absolutely fantastic. I'm really interested to know what Chris looks like. He might look like a model, like Hugo Boss model, he might be. That would be nice. So you know Charlotte's a model. What do you think she looks like? I'm thinking sort of glamorous sort of type, maybe big up front, but very, very slim and very good looking. And how are you going to feel if it doesn't all add up when you see him finally? But I'm half expecting him not to be my type because I am quite picky. But, I mean, it would be really nice if he was. Before the light came on, palms got a bit sweaty. I thought my heart was going to jump out, literally off my body. If I was in a bar and Chris was in there, I don't think I'd really notice him. It's not my type. I don't go for blonde, spiky hair. You looked a little bit disappointed, I'm not going to lie. What's going on? I was expecting Miss Universe, and I got Miss Salford. What? Are you joking? No. She's good looking. Yeah. But I think I built her up way too much. She's gorgeous. What's wrong with you? I probably might approach her in a bar, but I really don't know whether I really truly fancy her. Some people are too picky for their own good. Thankfully, the final couple to step into the light are our loved-up estate agents, Ollie and Natalie. My concerns about the light reveal that the last few days are just going to have been a waste because I've got to know someone and I've started to fall for someone and then if I see them and they're not attractive, it's just all ruined. If, on the off chance, she looks like Shrek, I'll be massively gutted, but... I honestly can't say what, where I'm going to go from there. I don't know. Natalie, is this a big moment for you? It's a massive moment. I'm really into looks. I'm, I'm quite shallow like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we've, I've gotten so well with him, I just want everything to match now, like every box to be ticked. In the dark, Ollie's my ideal man, but it really does still matter what he looks like in the light. He needs to have the whole package, because I'm not going to settle for less. reaction was a little bit disappointed he looks quite young his voice very mature very deep and I expect him to kind of look a lot older when the lights came on her you looked actually if anything disappointed what was going through your mind I've been trying to work out whether or not she's the type of girl that I'd go and talk to in a bar and I don't know whether she is or not mm. but it doesn't mean I'm not attracted to her it was confusion when it came on I had a mental image of her in my mind and it didn't match it at all so it was just massive, massive, massive confusion. It was really bizarre. Yeah, I bet. I'm going to cry. I'm so shallow. I'm so shallow, aren't I? I shouldn't care. Because he's, like, not awful at all. He's go really good looking. But I feel like am I might just convince myself is he good looking. Coming up next, will Chris meet his Miss Salford? Has the light killed off Dan and Siobhan's chemistry? And can Natalie look beyond Ollie's looks? Ooh. 
After several dates and getting to know each other in the dark, our couples have finally seen their love interests in the light. So, is this the start of something beautiful, or are they about to turn the lights out on the future? It's decision time. If they're still interested in their partner, the daters will go to the drawing room. However, they won't know if their partner is already there waiting, or if they'll even turn up at all. If they've seen enough and are no longer interested, they'll walk out of the front door, leaving their partner behind. I've been thinking a lot about whether to go and meet Siobhan in the drawing room, and I think my heart's telling me I definitely should. At the moment, I'm feeling the entire range of emotions. I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. The things that I really like about Siobhan are that she makes me laugh, she's got the same sense of humour as me, but there are a few doubts in my mind about whether Siobhan's going to turn up. It's been really hard to make my final decision. I've been trying to decide all night whether I should stay or go. Dan fulfills a lot of the criteria that I look for in a boyfriend. He's intelligent, he's ambitious, he's funny. So on those points, he ticks all the boxes. But it's how much further we'd have to go on to see if he ticks the others. Walking into that room and waiting to see which door's going to open is a really, really nerve-wracking experience. Your heart's going a mile a minute, your blood's pumping, and you're just hoping in the back of your mind, I really hope she walks through the door. I genuinely think there could be a future for Siobhan and I. We've had such a good chemistry, we've kissed already, and I hope we can build on that. In life, you have to take a risk, and I'm definitely taking a risk. But if Siobhan doesn't turn up, I'm going to be absolutely gutted. The decision to walk away from Dan was a really tough one for me. Even though we had great dates, he's not the one for me. In the past, I have settled for guys just for their personality. But, you know, I don't really want to do that anymore. I want the whole package now. Hey. How are you feeling? She made a decision and that's what she went with. Are you surprised she walked? Yeah, it was a little bit, to be honest. I had a feeling she might uh, turn up, but uh, I think she's looking for a tall guy. That's not me, but you know what? There's someone out there for her, and there's someone else out there for me. Well, I think you're great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> the decision to go meet Charlotte has been one of the biggest decisions I've ever made. She's got such a good personality. We are so compatible as well, so I think it would be worth giving it a try. And not only that, she is a model. I feel a little bit nervous because it's been hard to make the decision. I have been up and down, back and forward, and I've had to think a lot about what I want to do. Spending time with Chris in the dark room has been very enjoyable. We seem to be very, very similar people, and I think that we have got the same qualities in our personality and he does have the body and the height of the type of guy that I normally go for. I was really nervous. Obviously, she wasn't there, and it was just obviously a waiting game. Would she come to see me, or would she walk through the door and walk away? Our personality is just connected. We're so highly compatible. So if Charlotte doesn't turn up to the drawing room, I will be gutted. Chris is a nice lad. He could be attractive, I think, to many girls, but he's not for me. He didn't blow me away, and for that reason, it's not enough for me to want to go out on a date with him. I've been on my own for a year, so to go out with someone, I have to have that buzzing feeling, and I don't have that with Chris. You all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Why do you think she did that? I really don't know, to be perfectly honest. She actually looked a whole lot better walking out of here than she did in the light reveal. 
so. Which does make it a bit more gutting, but it's her decision. Seeing her yesterday, you called her Miss Salford. What title would you give her now? I would say Miss Great Britain. I thought she looked fantastic, but, you know, it obviously wasn't to be. I'm going to go to the drawing room and meet, and meet Natalie. We clicked amazingly. She's a pretty girl. She's got nice eyes, so I'm, I'm happy it was an easy, easy choice to make. I, I didn't expect to, to meet anyone that I connected with. It doesn't happen very often, so for me, it's yeah, it's been a total shock. It's been a really difficult decision if I'm going to meet Ollie or not. I've changed my mind about ten times. He's not typically my type. He's not typically I'd see him and have that, that physical attraction. But we've connected on a personality level, like I've not connected with someone for years. So I'm starting to think maybe looks don't matter. I'm excited, nervous, apprehensive. It's all a bit of a jumble of emotions. My confidence tells me that Natalie will turn up, but you can never be sure. I was elated. I was so surprised to see him there. I think we just ran up to each other and gave each other a massive hug. I honestly was expecting her to come out the front door. So seeing her walk through the door into the room was pretty amazing. I would have been devastated if you had walked. I would have. I could have shaken. <laughs> I'm really happy that I met Natalie in the room. It's all kind of clicked into place and I'm definitely still, yeah, very attracted to her. We both just felt so relieved that each other were there. It was perfect. It was like the final tick in the story. It's just like a, a fairy tale in a way. Hi, guys. Hi. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> that must be a relief now, hey? A little bit. How on earth could you think? that this was not going to be a done deal. Because it was just like too perfect every single date we had together and it all went so well. It just kind of seemed like it was too good to be true. Well, you're both here now, so what next? Dinner and drinks in the light. And dog walking. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Sounds perfect. Get your woolly hats out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really happy for you and I think you make a great couple. So let me know how your first date in the light goes, please. Oh, you guys find out. I'm so glad that I took part in Dane in the Dark. It's taught me so much about myself and never expected to meet anyone, never in a million years. And having that click with someone is amazing, absolutely amazing. It's the first time in my life something's just gone right for me and gone exactly how I would have wanted. So, thumbs up. <sighs> I do love a happy ending. Stay tuned to find out what happened next with Ollie and Natalie, and I'll see you next time. We haven't seen each other uh, since the show. Um, we talked a lot on the phone, but then we had a bit of an argument and haven't really spoken since. I tried my hardest. No, you didn't, like, Ollie. Hard to try hard at all, actually. With I told calls. you to not to speak to me and delete my number, and you go, okay then. It doesn't have to be it's like this. It's actually a built setting. It doesn't have to be like this. It does, though. It doesn't. You haven't me off now. Yeah, but we can, we can step forward and. Not really, I don't think so.